Until very recently, if you wanted an all-electric SUV, your options were Tesla and Tesla. Audi came along with the e-tron, but what if you needed something bigger? This is the BMW iX, and clearly bigger is something they had in mind when they designed this car. You know, I would like to meet the people that sat in a room and thought, yep, that's it. That's, that's the best way forward. This is the best we can do. That is the end of my BMW grill bashing though, because it has become quite the trendy thing to talk about this way too much. And you know what? It's a matter of personal taste. Design is a personal taste thing. Do you like the way this looks? Let us know in the comments. But just talking about the grill size wouldn't do it justice because there's so much more cool stuff behind this guy. For example, all of the driver assistance technology is neatly placed behind the grill. That includes cameras, parking sensors, everything. And there's a special layer of polyurethane over the top of it that makes it self-healing. That means if you catch a rock or if somebody decides to attack your car with a butter knife for some reason, any scratch on here you can get out by just applying heat to it. Take a hairdryer, five minutes, the scratch is gone. Or you just leave it overnight at room temperature, 24 hours, and the scratch will be completely out of here. That's some Tony Stark technology. And you know what? That same theme kind of translates to the entire exterior. This iX looks like Iron Man's helmet. I think it mostly has to do with the color and the trim. That is this beautiful BMW individual red metallic color. Also shout out to the lady that just rode by on her bicycle and screamed, nice color. At least some people like it. This trim is called bronze metallic, but there's a slight gold tinge to it, especially in the sunlight. This looks super cool. Right here, before we keep moving back, 22 inch wheels on this guy. They do knock about 10 miles of range out of the car. The good news is BMW does offer 20 and 21 inch options if range is your top priority. I already mentioned size, so let's talk about that. This is 195 inches long, which is basically the exact same size as a BMW X5. If you only speak electric, it's about three inches shorter than a Tesla Model X, two inches longer than an Audi e-tron. This is a big car, don't get me wrong. Come along back to just behind the C-pillar where they have this really cool iX logo baked into the side of the car. It's not just this that draws your attention though because both pieces of window trim run right into it. So just naturally when you're looking at the side profile, almost all of your attention goes right here. I don't think it's for everybody, but you know what? It looks very distinct and I think very cool. At the back of the iX, BMW opted for this really neat clamshell shape and it's basically all tailgate. Now I have the hazards on, so I wanna show you something kind of weird. When you have the hazards on and the trunk is shut, everything just looks normal. But because your hazards have to be visible at all times if you're on the side of the road, you have to have your tailgate up. BMW installed a second set of taillights so that the hazards are visible at all times. It's just kind of weird. I don't remember the last time I saw a car with two sets of taillights. Here in the cargo hold, there's a good amount of space. It's very, very typical for a mid-size crossover back here. But unlike the Tesla Model X, there's no option for a third row of seats and there's no frunk in this car. So overall, it is down on practicality. This car's full name is the iX xDrive 50. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but breaking that down, xDrive, true BMW fashion, means all wheel drive. And in this case, 50 means dual motor. So you have one motor on the front, one motor on the rear axle. 516 horsepower, 564 pound-feet of torque. That means zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. And let me tell you, it feels that quick. I mean, it is crazy to be in an SUV that has basically the same acceleration feel as a BMW M3. It's weird to have that sensation, but this really is uh, that quick feeling when you're behind the wheel. The iX also does something that other electric SUVs don't. It means it handles pretty well. Don't get me wrong, this is still a 5,600 pound SUV, but you have to push it extremely hard to force it into understeer. Otherwise, it has really nice controllable manners. The tires, it has a set of Bridgestone tires on it. They actually offer a good amount of grip, surprisingly so, as I was kind of driving this quick earlier on. And there's also a good set of brakes on this car. Sometimes EVs skip on the brakes, BMW did not. They're easy to control. Uh, it gives you a little bit of extra confidence when you're pushing it. Luckily, you don't have to use the brake pedal all the time because this does have full one pedal driving. It'll come all the way to a stop without ever having to put your foot on the brake. It's a neat feature and it extends 
the life of the range. Which reminds me, the IX will do 324 miles. That's best case scenario EPA rating. This car with the 22 inch wheels does 315 miles, which is still pretty dang good for a car this size. So the iX has a big battery pack, at least in this spec, the iX50. This car has a 111 kilowatt hour pack or 105 the net usable capacity in total. BMW will also sell you an iX40 trim, which has a smaller battery, and there's going to be an iX60, maybe even an iXM at some point. There's gonna be a lot of different flavors as they continue to roll this thing out. When it comes to charging at level two, the BMW iX will charge in 10 hours and 20 minutes. So it is definitely gonna be an overnight job if you're plugging it in at the house or any public level two charger. Here at the wonderful Electrify America station, it'll do a peak charge rate of 195 kilowatts. And that translates 10 to 80% state of charge in just under 40 minutes. Think high 30 minute range or just enough time to go grab lunch, come back and have the car fully charged. 195 kilowatts is good, don't get me wrong, but in today's modern landscape of EVs as they're getting faster and faster, it's definitely not the best. While we're plugged in and charging, let's talk about what is, I think, my favorite BMW interior ever. I mean, at the very least, it is the most different uh, and unique BMW interior I've ever seen. They deserve a lot of credit for thinking outside of the box with this one. Look at some of my favorite details, like these seat controls right here. They're basically crystals. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Super cool. And this color, it's all over, so you better like it. It's on the dash, it's on the seats, the center console. The material itself is super soft and just feels very high quality. I also like this button right here because it takes this big overhead glass panel and changes it from opaque to clear depending on how much sunlight you want coming into the car. If I had a nit to pick, it's right here because they did get rid of a lot of buttons in the way of making this interior look more clean. As we'll talk about right now, that's not always the best way. My coworker Jeff wrote in his first drive review that BMW knocked out 50% of the buttons in this area to make things look more streamlined. And I wish I had a few of those back, mainly the climate controls. We're here on the home screen right now. When you go into the climate menu, there's a couple extra button presses to do things like fan speed, ventilated seats, heated seats. You can't just do it from one push down here. I wish that wasn't the case. The rest of it is pretty dang good though, I have to admit. There's a 14.9 inch sensor touchscreen here and a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster in front of the driver. Um, I've been using this as a touchscreen the entire time because it's just the easiest way to interact with it. Get to the navigation, everything is really close and easy. I also like Apple CarPlay here, wireless integration and it takes up the entire screen. There's also a neat wireless charging pad down below, so just throw your phone down and go from there. Honestly, when it comes to the tech suite, it's one of the iX's biggest strong points. The BMW iX50 starts at $82,000, but this particular car with its long options list is $102,000. That is expensive, I know. But keep in mind, during today's filming, the cheapest Tesla Model X you can buy is $115,000. So the BMW is actually a comparative bargain, which is kind of crazy to comprehend. Competition is coming in the form of the Cadillac Lyric and the Mercedes EQS SUV. Right now, the BMW iX is the best all-electric premium SUV in the game. Thanks for watching.